Well, questions about the Canberra culture continue to dominate on what is the final day of Parliament for 2021. The Liberal Senator Holly Hughes is calling for a Green Senator to lose her position over an offensive comment. Live now to Trudy McIntosh. Trudy, what actually happened in the Senate? Well, Ash, this took place late yesterday. Liberals immediately calling out the Green Senator Lydia Thorpe after she shouted this comment directed at uh, Liberal Senator Holly Hughes across the chamber. It was raised to the attention of the Senate President, but because he personally hadn't heard it, he wasn't able to intervene. Take a look at what took place in the Senate and the response we've had from Holly Hughes on Sky News. Senator Thorpe just made the most outrageous statement directed at Senator Hughes, which you probably didn't hear, but in the scheme of disgusting statements made in this chamber, that surely ranks at the top of them. Senator, I, Senator Small, I obviously did not hear the statement. Senator Thorpe. I'm happy to retract. I just got a view of something over there that disturbed me, but I'm happy to retract. Uh, I just want to uh, unreservedly uh, take back my comments uh, that I made earlier, and I apologise to um, that senator wholeheartedly, um, Senator Hughes, and that won't happen again. Senator Thorpe yelled out at me, and I responded to her that you know she was a disgrace for pulling that stunt while we were discussing people with a disability. And at that point, she said, at least I kept my legs shut. But what I took from it, what a number of my colleagues from across the chamber, Liberal, Labor, crossbenchers, that had I kept my legs shut, I wouldn't have a child with autism. Wow. So, it, honestly, I am dumbfounded that someone would say that, would suggest that. Holly Hughes wants further action to be taken against Senator Lydia Thorpe. She says she hasn't received any sort of comment from any member of the Greens in the wake of this, and Sky News has tried to contact the Greens leader, Adam Bant, but he has so far has not replied. It's really been a messy week here in Parliament. The spotlight is certainly back on this issue of the culture, of how people are treated inside the halls and corridors of power. That culminated in the release of the Jenkins Review earlier in the week. We've seen 28 recommendations of how to fix it here, but so far both the government and Labor have yet to say they'll actually adopt all 28 recommendations. Former Labor leader Bill Shorten, though, giving a pretty clear indication he'd like to see that happen. Labor's been thinking about the equal treatment of women for a very long time. And so we've got a lot of very strong-minded advocates in our ranks. Uh, obviously, we've got a report, you've got to consult about it, but, you know, I, for one, haven't seen a lot of uh, very good arguments against us fully implementing it. MPs will leave Canberra after Parliament rises today for the last time this year. It is potentially also the last time we will see Parliament sit all together before the next election. That's if the Prime Minister decides to pull the trigger for an early March election, Ash. Oh, a big uh, question time this afternoon about that tree live there for us in Canberra. Thank you.